what's going on y'all how you doing how you feeling uh before i get into the video i want to thank y'all for watching and thank you for subscribing i appreciate that um yeah i'm in fort wayne indiana um my next load don't pick up until monday and i'm going to sydney ohio taking that load to memphis tennessee and when i pick that load up monday it don't deliver until wednesday and um I don't know. I don't know. I don't like sitting on lows like that when you can just go ahead and run it there, get it there, and, you know, pick something else up. But, um, that's what's going on. Like, um, the load board, I pick my lows off, um, the load board from a mega carrier. I'm not sure who all has access to that. I know the guys who has their own authority, they don't have access to it. They wouldn't dare look at those um loads that we have on the load board because like when i first looked at it and um everything was it was okay you know what i mean like i could deal with that but the goal was to eventually get my own authority of course uh that's at a standstill right now it's not happening right now um <laughs> thank god thank god i did it the way i did it you know i always said i like to ease my way into things i, I like to see how things work before I, you know, step on out there. Um, I mean, it, it sucks for all of us right now. Uh, from what I'm seeing, you know, and from what I'm hearing from other drivers too. You know, and right now I'm sitting at a truck stop. There's a lot of trucks out here. They just been sitting out here for, uh, for a minute, you know. Uh, like I've been sitting here since yesterday. A lot of these trucks just sitting here, they still got snow on the front of the windshield. They hadn't moved. They hadn't crunked that truck up. So uh, I'll still be out here trying to see if I can make this work for me. If I can, then I'll do it. If I can't, then I'll go park the truck. And uh, that's like the blessing in it for me, that I can park the truck and not worry about somebody coming to, you know, get it from me. Uh, had I took somebody else's advice prior to getting the truck and all that, uh, I'd be in a very bad situation right now. Um, that's why I always follow my own mind, you know, like I sit down, I plan stuff out and I do what's best for me. Um, I listen to other people because, you know, it's, that's how you learn things, like listening to other people. I listen to a lot of different people to see, you know, where they head at. If they can tell me something that I can take from it, then I take it. And if I can't, then, you know, I still listen to them, but you know, it's not beneficial to me. So, you know, I don't use it. So... Uh, I remember a guy telling me, like, I had the money for this truck, right? Had the money for this truck, all of it, to pay for the truck. Uh, and then it was this guy told me, won't you just take, uh, what he say, take 20 of that? Or take, anyway, he was telling me to take, you know, a large sum of that and then uh, put it down on a truck at a dealership and then take the rest of it and use it for my maintenance account i'm like why would i do that i just couldn't believe it two different guys told me that y'all and i just couldn't believe it i mean who would give out such horrible advice i think that is horrible advice i told them no i'm not doing that why would i do that why would you do that i don't know it Everybody think different, but baby, I'm glad I don't think like that. You know, you got the money paid for it. Put the truck down, and then you can go like like what I did. What I did was pay for the truck, and I kept working. I put the truck to the side. A lot of people didn't understand why I had the truck just sitting there like that. But like pretty much, y'all, I stepped out on faith. It's just God on His truth. I stepped out on faith with this truck. Let me tell y'all why I said I stepped out on faith, though. When I first got that truck, I put it to the side and I kept working my regular job. And that job, it wasn't paying me that much. You know, I was a driver, but it was a small company. So I wasn't, you know, able to just put a whole lot of money to the side for maintenance. So, you know, it was like, you know what? I got to just use what I got and go for it, you know. And something happened, I'm a relentless person. I, I know I can, you know, figure something out. That's pretty much what it was. I prayed about it and I went for it. So that's how that happened. But, yeah, always do what's best for you. Like I said, if I had to listen to those other guys, I'd be in a bad situation right now. Somewhere boo-hooing. Yeah, that would have made me boo-hoo. Yep, definitely. 
All right, y'all. So, um, I'll probably end up making more videos because I got a lot of time today. I have a lot of time tomorrow. I'm going to drive to Sydney tomorrow, but it don't take long to get there. Um, but, yeah. Oh, this thing right here, this net right here, back here. What y'all do with y'all? Like, I tried to put it up in here and so it can stay up top, but... Um, it won't stay up there when I drive it fall right back down right there so uh, if y'all got any ideas creative ideas as to how I can keep it up there let me know okay y'all be good have a great one be safe you know all that good stuff all right catch you in the next one